That's a fantasy too. Did something happen to you? No, why? Did you hear something? Come on out. What does it feel like? Cosmic. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any. Miss Marvel. Alright, so Miss Marvel is the latest of the MCU. This is the story about Miss Marvel. This is the girl who, you know, in the comics, Miss Marvel becomes Captain Marvel. And I think she was Kara Danvers, but we're doing something new in this uh, show. So it starts this girl. She's uh, a pack. She's from uh, her family's from Pakistan. She's uh, she has this life. She doesn't really fit anywhere, but she really loves Captain Marvel. Like that's her girl. That's her superhero. Like you know when people say like my favorite superhero, like Batman. Obviously, it has to be Batman. But then you, but she's her her big hero is uh, Captain Marvel. Well, she finds out that she uh, when she wears this bagel that she has powers, and um, eventually she comes up with the name Miss Marvel. I really really enjoyed the show. I thought the show was great. I love the coming of age elements. I'm always a big sucker for a coming of age element, and this movie really the show had a big element of like it reminded me a little bit of Spider Man into Spider Verse when you see like the drawings on the the buildings. I thought that was some pretty cool stuff in the show as well. I really I really like the main girl. I thought she killed it as Miss Marvel. I really don't know much about the character. And this might I think this is a different version of the of the traditional Miss Marvel. But I thought she knocked it out of the park and I thought she was great. And I'd like at the end whenever this is obviously all my TV reviews are always spoiler warnings. But to reveal that she's a mutant and when they play the 97 X-Men theme, you just hear that little hint of you and you hear, da -da -da -da. you're just like, I was like, oh, I, I blew, I blew my mind. Uh, the villain in the show was kind of forgettable. It wasn't as good as any of the villains this year. I mean, I guess made better than Wanda in uh, WandaVision, or not WandaVision, but Doctor Strange. Um... Uh, I, but I really, I, I have to say, I enjoyed Miss Marvel. I'm, my only, my only negative is not even a negative. It's of the show. I think a big negative of the show is that I don't think they do enough episodes. I think an eight episode story would be better suited. I don't think they have enough time to do everything they want to do in a six episode format because they, at points they feel like mini movies, but we don't. I even feel like in movies we get a little more time with the character. So, but overall, I enjoyed the show. I'd watch it again. I'll definitely watch it again on my MCU rewatch, which I don't know when I'll do that, but maybe at the end of Phase 4, whenever the hell that is. So, guys, what are your thoughts of Miss Marvel and whatever they are? Comment below. Let me know. Guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up, subscribe to more, tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.